Hello and welcome to Bitcoin 10x. Okay, so today we're going to talk about XRP, so where that's going and how the SEC development is coming along, but also where I think the price is going to go. Now, not necessarily a price prediction, but I think right now XRP is about 22 cents, and I think that's the bottom of the market. So there's certainly areas where it's bouncing along a support line. Now, if the SEC lawsuit gets dropped, we could see XRP start going past the 70 cents mark again, but that's not where it's going to stop. So people who got out of XRP at the right moment can get straight back in and it'll bring a whole new crowd on top of that. So we should certainly see rises past 70 cents, but we could go as high as three or four dollars. Now, again, not a price prediction because again, we could go even higher. And there's lots of development, um, there's lots of development with Holo token right now. So I want to talk about that and the areas where it's failed and been successful over the last six months. So if you're not already aware, then Holotoken has its own YouTube channel. And I've been following the development on there, so we're going to have a quick look. We're going to actually join up with the YouTube channel. Have a quick look at one of the videos that was released this week and where the technology is moving to. Now, it doesn't look like they've got to a beta stage right now, but it looks like they're very close. So one of the developers of Holochain, which is the technology behind Holotoken, um, although they're not connected, the Holo token's going to drive to gas fees and so forth. Gollum Cordoba, um, he's been talking about the development and how he's been mapping the Holo chain, the, the software. Um, so they've got it to a stage where it's, it's open source and you can drag and drop into the program. So I'm going to let him do some of the talking. And afterwards, we're going to have a look at where Holo chain is or Holo token is as a token. Can download the dependency, include it, and let it run. But here is the end user uh, himself or themselves that uh, is going to choose uh, how to build its, uh, his own DNA, right? So, okay, let's say that uh, here we have a list of uh, zones that can be included. Uh, right now, this is the, the, the only list, but you can imagine here uh, like how many zones the developers can publish, you can imagine ratings, you can imagine a lot sort of things. And actually this is going to be um, uh, a lot of warning signs along the way because all of this is scaffolding after scaffolding and uh, updating to latest RSM and uh, there is a, long, a lot of bumps around, uh, along the way. But anyway, so what you can do is select what zones you want to include in your DNA. So let's say that I want some calendar events and I want some mutual credit, Blocky um, is, is the one we are going to see just, just uh, after this. And let's say I want also some, some profiles, okay? Okay, so this is going to take just uh, a while because it's actually uh, generating the, the DNA for us. Okay, cool, so, so I just download it. And this is still a little weird that we have to do this, but just the API of Holochain being what it is right now requires us to do this step. Okay, so now we are installing the DNA. Okay, awesome. So now what we get is a uh, uh, like a dynamic UI in which you can drag and drop uh, things inside these different blocks. Mm -hmm. And you can basically build your own blocky uh, UI, right? So let's say that here I want to have the calendar and then here I want to be able to create an offer for the mutual credit uh, application. And then here I want to get my pending offers. And then when you hit save, it basically rearranges itself and it's like you are you have configured your your application. And this can be uh, like this is a new DNA that you just created. You can share it now and the other participants 
can, uh, well, they're going to see this first screen because you already have configured the UI, but if they want, they can just go and, and edit the, the UI by themselves for their own purposes, you know? And like you can imagine. Very interesting. So that you uh, hear them talking, so the de development team, you hear them talking about the drag and drop, the open source nature of Holochain. And the technology is basically um, derivative by everybody, so it's designed by everybody. So what that says is you've got, let's say 100,000 people looking at Holochain and 100,000 people will come to like a voting system. So they'll all say, uh, this is what the DNA model is going to be and these are all the menus that's going to be in there. So then you drag and drop into the place where you want it, click save, and then everyone can see that. So then you, you've got then um, a, a software that everyone can develop, design, move with, and it's so quick. He said there in the video that, uh, you know, this is gonna take a while. It took seconds just to deliver the, the, that list. Now I hope that the bigger the technology gets, that it doesn't get slower. And this is one of the design elements behind Hologene is that it's open source, kept off networks, it uses um, unused processing speeds from other people, so they keep their costs down, their electricity down, and then all of this menu function. There's a specific reason why Gunnan wants to create Holochain, is that because he doesn't like the technology that's already out there and the slowness and updates and so forth. So he's created his own code to help people uh, with their functionality in their everyday life. So really good, really good and interesting insight to Holochain. Now, if they get this to beta stage, so testing by the, the user and the public, the end user, by April or May this year, we could see a massive pump on the Holotoken because then they're proving their model, they're proving their technology. So quite exciting stuff. If you want to go over to YouTube and follow their channel, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll leave a link in the description for that particular video because it's kind of end user functionality, it's a nice little video on there. I'll, I'll save that in the description. So for those who took part in the XRP airdrop, as of the 12th of December 2020, XRP took a snapshot of everybody that was holding XRP at the time. So if you own, let's say, 100 XRP, then you were um, in contention to receive 100 Spark tokens. Now these are released gradually over the course of 24 to 36 months. The reason for that is so that everybody doesn't cash out at the same time and Spark token dumps in, out of the market. So what they do, they slowly release these tokens back into your wallets over the course of 20, let's say 24 months. Now, um, that's that's gonna be worth something. We don't know how much it's gonna be worth and you could cash out or you could just leave it there and then watch the token grow again over two years. That's completely your choice. Now, there's gonna be a second airdrop on the Flare network. So when the Flare token launches, there's going to be a second airdrop. So let's just, let's just read that on the daily huddle. So second airdrop incoming to XRP holders. Here's the latest. So the token's called Yield Flare. XRP. A little known second airdrop is on its way to XRP holders who are already set to receive a highly anticipated Spark token airdrop from the Flare network. In December, Ripple-backed crypto startup Flare executed a snapshot of participating XRP holders and distri distributed its Spark FLR token to them at a rate of 1.0073 per XRP owned. So it's slightly more than one, um, one token. In some places, this Spark token is taxable. So look at your, your location, and mainly in America, Spark token is taxable. I believe it's also taxable in the UK as well. The token is part of a new smart contract ecosystem that is designed to bring Ethereum type functionality to the XRP ledger. Let's go down slightly. So Flare Finance, which is built on the Flare blockchain and designed to power swaps, stable currency, yield farming, asset back, asset back loans, insurance and yield mining, plans to offer those same participants another airdrop. The company says it will airdrop DAO Flare token, DFLR, to users who receive Spark. DFLR holders can then swap those tokens for Yield Flare, Flare Finance's official token. So, 
If you're holding XRP right now, keep holding it. Now, I did, I did mention briefly earlier that the bottom of the market is probably 0 0.22 cents. Um, so it's just bouncing across that level right now. So that is likely to go up if the SEC lawsuit is dropped. So if SEC cannot prove, so it's an accusation that XRP is a security. If SEC cannot prove that XRP is a security, and Ripple will just take back over and everyone will just pile back in. So the people that exited between December 2020 and now will get back into the market. And this is likely to push the token back up to about 70 cents or for those who still believe in XRP. After that transition, you're likely to see XRP go over 70 cents. Now, it's not a price prediction, but it's easily a move that you could make right now uh, to gain, simply gain your Spark token or simply gain your airdrops for free. So get into XRP if you can. I've never been a fan of XRP, so it's likely that I will exit this year and probably never look back at XRP again. But the airdrops is what pulling me into the token. It's a very clever way of getting exposure to XRP. Okay, I'm gonna keep this video short today. If you like the video, please subscribe. It really does support the channel. I've had an amazing result on people subscribing on a weekly and daily basis. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you do have comments or you want me to plug a token you want to look into a token that's absolutely fine now my personal uh, crypto group is growing up too in the background so i've got nearly 200 subscribers on the channel for youtube and i've got 30 people following my crypto insiders now this is a specific group of people that i know but the group is growing um, exponentially great word so yeah thanks for watching the video guys so every time you like the video it triggers YouTube's algorithm and then they send it to more people to watch. So if you like the exposure of XRP and Holotoken and Holochain, please like the video and more people will see it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.